Hiya, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. If you followed over from the pan lantern, you'll obviously know what I'm wrapping. But what I wanted to do is this video is me wanting to show you that you can spend a very small amount and you can gift a, um, you can gift a gift which is beautiful, really thoughtful and you don't have to spend a lot so i will be doing a homemade gifts i'm going to be filming it this week so you've got enough time in advance before christmas i do realize i'm leaving this tight but you know i'm like i'm awful for filming and getting things done we've been so busy and um, so i'm going to be filming i might try and film it tomorrow a homemade gifts but this is something that you can do you can go out last minute get these bits and wrap them up like this and they will be beautiful gifts that you don't have to spend a lot. Um, so get yourself a nice cup of tea. I've still got my tea on the go actually from the video I just filmed, which is the Pan Land haul. I said in that video, because not everyone likes to watch these kind of videos, the crafty style, and it's not crafting, it's more just wrapping and stuff, hampers, um, little ideas about that sort of stuff. But some people just like watching the haul, so I film that separately. So if you haven't watched it, you can if you want to. Not much point in reading now. Might as well just watch this if you're here. All I can see in the top corner of my phone is bits and bobs coming through. <laughs> Loads of messages. Right. So I've got my sellotape ready. I got myself a sellotape dispenser in the new year last year because loads of people were like, Rosie, don't bite the sellotape. I listened. You said and I heard. <laughs> got that. I've got some brown craft paper. I always buy a massive roll of it. I think I got this from Hobby Craft. Always wrapped with brown recyclable paper i've also got myself just some scraps you're probably sick of seeing this material at christmas time got this scrap of material from the charity shop i've got a massive bundle of it down the shed and i've also got some cheap napkins that you can get in home uh, home bargains and um, i think they're two pounds pack four i think that's how much i paid for them before and um, whether or not they're that now you can obviously get things like anywhere i've also got an old basket you've probably seen this in the last three christmas videos because <laughs> i always get baskets from the charity shops all year round the best time to get them is just after easter because everyone does easter baskets usually um, and you're going to get them for like 50p maximum a pound really good baskets this one's an old basket but i love using this for hampers and stuff and the nice thing is in our family like we'll keep the ribbons or we'll keep bits like that and if no one wants the basket like i mean gary's nan and granddad have done them a huge food hamper one year and I had this really beautiful basket and I tied dried fruits to it, lovely ribbons on it. I painted the bottom half of it to make it look really pretty and put all vines and that around the handle. And they used that and it's in there like, um, they've got all that lovely wooden bookcases and it's on the side and it's got all his granddad's pulp and stuff inside it. And it just looks really pretty. And the ribbons that I put around it were to match what they have, living room, like colours in their living room, like plums and these like forest greens. So it looks really, really beautiful. So, you know, they can be reused. I've got some ribbon, which is for a pound. I don't know how much I know, because I got this last year. I've got loads left over. Sorry, I'm hiccuping now. This big, thick, velvety ribbon from Home Bargains. You can use any ribbon, any ribbon you've got. I've just went literally into my stores to get whatever ribbon. I also brought down a bit of red ribbon that I had from Hobbycraft. And where's that green ribbon? I've also got some, like, green ribbon that I thought I'd use. I've just got loads of ribbons. I always keep them, order them cheap on Amazon. Not this time of year because it's a bit of a pain in the bum. But we're going to get in and do the gifts for hampers. So the first one I'm going to start off with is this candle. Now I got this candle. This was for £4 and it's a lovely size. It's 440 grams. It's winter. Spices and love it's cold. I had a bit of difficulty getting the lid open before. I don't break it. It's free wick and it smells beautiful. Now something like this can look a bit naff. Now I know you've got to have the sticker to tell you about the, the you know, the burning time, etc. But what Poundland do wrong, they stick it right on the back of it and it makes it look very expensive and quite naff. So I'm gonna take the sticker off, but I am gonna put it on the bottom of the candle instead. So I know some people will be like, people need the instructions and the safety, making sure it's all off. Yep, it's all off now and I'm gonna place that on the bottom so if people need for safety things obviously i know a lot of people have candles and it's also got this really kind of naff sticker on the front as well which i think is going to take me too long to get off but i will get this off and um, because and then give this a little buff with a microfiber cloth and then it's just a really pretty candle now you could tie some really lovely black velvet ribbon around the top of this candle to make it look extensive when they open it so for example you could just put some nice ribbon 
underneath, tie it on top in a nice bow, like a velvet ribbon. And this would make the candle look very, very expensive. But if you are just wrapping it like me, I'm just gonna do this, because who I bought it for, they won't use the ribbon, they won't keep the ribbon, they're not fussed on that. So I'm gonna be using just an off cut of some fabric that I had. Now you can go into any aberdashery and they will have like a fabric shop. You can get like tiny little cuts. They do lots of red fabric in there. It hasn't got to be like a perfect standard of fabric that you can get. Let me get a little basket so you can see what I'm doing. Right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your bit of fabric. I've got a short piece here. And you're just gonna make sure that you measure out so that you've got the perfect amount of fabric for the top. Now you're gonna want enough that you can tie in the corners. Now places like Lush, they do this for fabric and I love the idea so you're going to end up with something like this and then what you do is is you bring this side round a bit like a Christmas pudding really make sure you tuck in them sides like that so you don't see the inside of the fabric when you bring it over and then do the same on the other side making sure to tuck in so you can see the fabric and then you're going to be left with two more like this so take them and knot them tightly once you've tied it up at the top you can either leave it loose at the top i like to actually tuck these bits in and then tie a nice big bow on the top here i mean you could go for red ribbon because it matches but you could also go for something that's quite large and clashing to sort of make this look really damask and baroque and stuff and if it's for someone that loves home stuff as well It'd be quite beautiful to tie like, I mean, this ribbon just looks lovely in contrast to it. And you can actually thread your bit of ribbon through here. There you go. Thread your bit of ribbon through. Tighten a little knot at the top. And then get your ribbon. Make a little bow, a big bow, however you want to do it. Make that a little bit thinner. Love this sort of like crushed velvet. And make sure that they're the same length. I'm just going to cut a tiny bit off the other one. I don't usually do that, but how gorgeous is that present? Like, that's beautiful. If you put that in a hamper or on its own, that is just gorgeous. Like, they're going to be so interested by the it's just it just makes it so much more expensive and beautiful looking so you've got that now obviously you can just wrap it in brown paper with some beautiful ribbon too and that will also do the job or just plain wrapping however you do it but put the ribbon around the candle first before you wrap it so that's someone's gift and i thought that was really nice you're never gonna know that's from the pound shop in a million years it's beautiful a four pound gift obviously i'm going by the scraps that i have I can't, you know, I can't say that it cost me more because they're things that I've had for years in my shed. But obviously, ribbon, you can get these in stocks, a couple of pounds. Oh, I've got a call coming through. One second, guys. I think it's the kids' call. Is we could do like a little hamper. So I'm just going to get some brown paper at the ready. Ooh. Just to fill the bottom of my hamper up. You can obviously use shredded. Um, shredded paper. I think I do actually have some down the shed, but my craft just needs organising. But I just thought I would just pad it out this way. So this basket's an old basket I've had for a very long time. I'm going to fold it in, scrunch it up a bit, just to pad it out a little bit. put an old scrap of fabric in this if you wanted to to really make it look nice and posh we might do that why not why not do it if you've got the leftovers or you've got the scraps go for it makes no difference does it really and um, you know if you're not wanting to spend a lot but you want it to look really nice things as well you can always take these scraps back home because a lot of people don't want these bits so you can always retake really them like i say my family we always just like fold it up a bit like monica really when she's ironing wrapping paper we love crafting this little thing so i am going to put the lid underneath this this lid comes with it so as well they can use this in their bathroom if they want they want to keep the basket they can obviously keep this in the bathroom with just their little bits in there you could put little washcloths in here little um slippers as well to go with these sets however you want to bulk this up to make it work like more money more money gift but you really don't need to you can just get a few bits to put in here so one pound fifty we've got our almond body butter 
you can get most baskets for about 50p in the charity shop you just need to look around to get them and obviously get them in advance however they do have little hampers in the pound shop at the moment i think they're one pound 50 they do gray natural colored wood and they also have a pink one as well they're about a similar probably about that size so you can fit quite a bit in there so if you haven't got the baskets you still can get them really cheap um or you can just use one of their christmas boxes if you want to as well so this is the winter berries one pound 50 so so far like a little three pound gift and it's looking really really sweet have this up a bit and then we've got the bath bomb as well which is only a pound so we we'll put that in there and then i thought what we could do is this is like a little treat basket so you can obviously pop in as much and as little as you want in this it's a four pound gift no way are you ever going to know this is four pound from the pound shop like ever in a million years it looks really really cute and even if you have to buy the basket from the pound shop for one pound fifty that's a five pound fifty gift so obviously it's still not breaking the bank it's really good quality and um, so it's four pounds so far now i will just say obviously i just thought this would be nice for a nice relaxing evening someone to have a nice bath they've got like their bath bomb they've got their scrubs they've got their body cream and i thought they could even pop a candle in here now they do do smaller candles so you can do this even cheaper you can get a pound candle and this could be a five pound gift all in and I think that's brilliant, especially if it's a secret Santa or someone you want to get a nice little gift for. But obviously, you just don't want to be spending fortunes. Um, but you, even if you stick this £4 candle in there, which is just beautiful, and I think actually will look gorgeous in this hamper, this is still only an £8 gift. And I'm sorry, but this just looks so classy. And so beautiful and even if this wasn't wrapped up in the fabric and it was wrapped up in brown paper with a nice velvety ribbon on the top or even just a plain ribbon or like i say you can obviously get velvety ribbon from home bargains you can even cut this down width ways so it goes even extra because then you've got like slightly thinner ones it's not costing a lot in this basket they've got a basket to keep all their nice little like homeware bath bits and stuff in they've got their scrub here, they've got their body cream and they've got their bath bomb and they've also got a beautiful candle and that is an eight pound gift and it's from the pound shop and it's beautiful and it's just proof that you do not need to spend loads of money if i got gifted that wrapped in that way i would literally be so chuffed and it feels so luxurious so the next present i'm going to be gifting is to my friend so not all presents have to be groundbreaking and life-changing, like I've said. They can be little tokens. So I got this really lovely colouring book. I know she loves to have a cup of coffee or a hot chocolate and just chill out at a table and relax and do a bit of mindfulness and some colouring in. So I had this small one. I thought this would be good. You can pop it in a handbag as well. And this is from the pound shop. It's a happiness one. They had a few different designs. Some really lovely colouring in pictures in here. The mandalas that are just really beautiful bits. There's like fairies, beautiful women really beautiful one in here so this was a pound and i also managed to get for a pound some sketch pens in there now what i loved about these ones is they come in a case so 20 sketch pens take that packaging out no one needs to know exactly where that's from do they and it just looks really cute obviously leave your little safety label at the bottom if you want to don't have to this is obviously going to an adult but you know in case some people are a bit funny about no it's not under for under freeze or whatever um but yeah loads of different colors you get 20 different colors in this and I thought this would be a really cute gift. Now, what I'm going to be wrapping this up with, now you can get in the pound shop, little sachets of hot chocolate and things like that. I didn't buy mine in the pound shop because I already had some at home, but you can get them in there. They do a couple of packets with a few in there. Um, I'm going to be popping in, I think this one, she's a very nice raspberry. So I've got a large pack for £2 from Home Bargains of these crackers. So they are crackers, but they're hot chocolate flavours. I'm going to give her this one. This is a caramel flavour hot chocolate. So I'm going to gift her... A peaceful little gift that she can have a little hot chocolate and do her colouring in. I am going to wrap this as well, yet again, in the fabric if it'll fit. So this is just a napkin that you can use. To... There's a lolly stick there. <laughs> you can tell my craft cupboards need sorting out. Um, so yeah, I've got lolly sticks there for like the homemade cake pops that I'm making tonight. I did bring some in. It's just on the side. There's a few. Just got caught. Um, so this is just a napkin. So that's always another good thing as well, especially in sales after Christmas. Buy yourself just some cheap Christmas napkins. I will say though, some most haberdasheries have this sort of very thin tartan material. They'll have like a red check or something and it's normally about two pound a meter. So you can get a hell of a lot of fabric and just cut it down if you like wrapping in fabric as well. Um, but I'm gonna be folding this over, wrapping it in the tartan 
and it just feels more classy. It just feels more um, more thought out. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, again, just like a present you would, like with a wrapping paper. It's reusable. Tie this round. And then I'm gonna be using some of the ribbon that I got from Home Bargains as well. Just gonna trim my ribbon. To keep it in place, I'm gonna put my ribbon on it like so. I can neaten this up a bit after. Upside down. Do your little twist. Turn it back that way. And then you can tie your big bow on the top. Yet again, you can just use brown paper for this. Like these napkins, these were from Home Bargains and they was like two quid, I think. £2.50 at most. Tie a big massive bow on the front and then just tuck that bit in underneath because we don't want the long tail because actually it looks quite nice. And then these little bits on the present I'm just going to fold in as well just so that you look. If you don't have this square flap just fold it in on itself under the bow. I'm going to have to fold under this way I think. Tuck it in under this way, so it looks like part of the bow. Bit of shushing and faffing. Really beautiful. Yeah, again, I mean, you can even stick that in the other gift if you really wanted to. It's still, still a really cheap gift. Um, but two pounds, but then obviously use a little bit of ribbon and stuff like that. It's still under five pounds, it's about four pound gift really, especially with a little hot chocolate really reasonable but it doesn't look like that it looks much more expensive so we got that one as well now i'm going to be doing a little baby present which i thought was really cute so i got these two together so i got for three pounds i got a little baby book um, and i couldn't control myself earlier because i was saying about the felt flaps i need to grow up and um, but it has felt flaps in it rather than the card ones because sometimes the card ones can rip off because they're a bit more when they keep being pulled back and forward they can just sort of tear so the fact that they've got the Felt in them is really good. So this one's called Peekaboo Lion. I did want to get a Christmas thing book, but I didn't have any in there. Um, and then I just got this little toy for her as well. Um, and it's the squeak. And it's got like a little teaver on it as well in a little reindeer, which I thought was really, really cute. Just because of the hazard of it, I'm just going to take that little bit off the top. I know mum will obviously cut this off. Has it got all the... Right, it's got all of the weight... Oh, it's got all of the warnings on this label so i can take that other label off because i know people are a bit funny with the children stuff um, and then i'm just going to wrap this up together i'm just going to do this with brown paper because i think it's quite nice with little, little ones they love to just sort of rip paper open especially when they're little don't they that feeling of the tearing but it's a two pound um little toy and the book's only three pounds that's a five pound gift if you've got like a little child to get for that's a really lovely gift and i know the parents would be grateful of not having a massive teddy you know not stuff that they've got to try and find to put somewhere and some people are a bit funny about the aesthetic of stuff as well so a nice little little tiny teddy it's christmas themed as well which is quite cute and um, and then the book as a parent personally i don't think you can go wrong with gifting books unless you're my mum because my mum is obsessed with books and then she ends up getting so many books for the kids. And what, we always buy kids but books for the kids. The kids end up having way too many. And now the cupboard is ram packed full of them. And I always have to have a sort out every now and again to donate down to the charity shop because there's just so many of them. And just take this up. Oh. Don't press that down enough. And there's a little five pound gift which I don't personally think as a gift for a little child, you can't really get them many things, like it's like toys and stuff are quite expensive. And you know, and also as well, you need to know from the parents' point of view, but that's a five pound gift and it's a book. You can't really go wrong with getting a book, like I said, and that little toy, is just great. You can just put the little toy on it. I mean, as well, if you want to tie some ribbon, around this gift as well i'm not don't want to tie this massive ribbon around it but i didn't bring in any other ribbon i'll just tie it up i'll tie it up just so that you can see i'll tell you what the ribbon does look beautiful 
with the brown paper. I probably would use like a um, like a tissue paper ribbon for a little kid's present, but how cute does it look? I mean, to be honest with you, rather than even trying to ribbon around this, you'd get a chalk pen and draw little designs and stuff on that as well if you wanted to. So I got two, I got two of these boxes. These are two for a pound, these popcorn boxes. Now, I thought these would be really good to pop popcorn in these. So for two pound each, I got some of these buttered poppy popcorn. I'm just gonna be popping these in. I'll be making two of these. And we've got a popcorn in here. I also bought for a pound, they do these Reese's peanut butter cups. You get four peanut butter cups in there. Now I've got the milk chocolate ones and I also got the white chocolate. So I'm going to do two different variations. I've got the white chocolate one here and the milk chocolate. And I also bought some Ferrero Rocher, which is going to go in this one here, and a Ruffalo. These are a pound each as well. So so far, 50p a box, because obviously it's two pound for two. 50p a box, two pound for these, which you probably can get cheaper than your own brand ones. I just got to go for butter kiss from the pound shop. And um, two pound fifty, these were pounds, three pound fifty. This is four pound fifty each. Um, so I've got these. Now, these what I'm gonna do with these, I'm gonna wrap these with cellophane, but we have a really reasonable cinema where we are. We have like a cheap cinema with a lot of tickets for like three pounds fifty. So what I'm gonna do is these are for two teenagers that I've got to get for. I'm gonna get them cinema tickets, like the cinema vouchers, so they can go to the cinemas. You can put lots of sweeties in these if you want. I even thought of getting, you know, like the glass bottles of cola. You could even pop these in there as well. Tie these up with cellophane. Put their little ticket in there. It's a gift under £10 that you can do, obviously. Let me work this out. £2.50, £3.50. It's about a £7.50 gift each. They can go to the cinema. It's something they can do, something they can eat. And it's not just going to add to the piles of stuff that they don't use, they don't want. And, you know, it's just making it harder. And also as well, teenagers are quite expensive to get for. This is a cool little idea, especially if they're like brother that go together or friends or whatever. Adults, mum and dad, get them some cinema tickets, offer to babysit in there as well, give them some of these. So I thought this would be a cute idea for teenagers. Even if you don't want to um, put cinema tickets in there, maybe put a little packet of sweeties and stuff in there and that can be for them for a little at-home movie night. These would be quite good as well for your children if you want to make these as little gifts instead of, you know, like Christmas Eve hampers. You could make these, pop the little pyjamas in the back if you wanted to, ones that you've already got, or Christmas PJs, and you can watch a Christmas movie on the night, and that'd be quite a cool little idea as well. So I've got those. Now, another one I've done is I got this velvet makeup bag from the pound shop, and I did say in the video when I like the haul, I nearly cried having to spend six pound or something from the pound shop. But like I said in that video, it is incredibly well made and padded, really well made. The zip is like that double strength sort of like knitted as well as it, which is not going nowhere. The velvet's lovely, it's ribbed. And also as well, the little gold bit on the front says forest wild. So it's nothing too garish, you know, they make something nice sometimes and it'll just be like this random saying on the front of stuff. So this was six pound. Now I thought this would be quite a nice gift for someone that loves makeup and stuff like that. This is gonna be like an under 10 pound gift that I wanted to make. And um, I thought that this was a pound, so it's actually 11 pound gift. And um, so I thought this would be good for someone that loves makeup. Maybe a young girl, maybe a woman. I think like a teenage girl, this might be quite good for. Someone that's quite hard to get for. So I got this little set. So this was £2.50. This is a little glow at nail varnish set. So you get a little um, nail file in there in gold. You get the red, you get the burgundy, and you also get the gold glitter. I know Millie will like this because she wants some red nail varnish and some gold glittery ones with a nail file in there. You can take these out if you want, wrap them in tissue paper and pop them in there. That's quite a nice idea to do that. I always think that looks a bit more expensive and a bit more classy as well by taking these individually out and wrapping them in tissue and putting them in there, um, which I might do. If I do, I'll show you at the end of the video. It's just because I don't need to be here forever while I'm showing you what I got. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna pop this in there as well. So that takes it up to £8.50, but obviously there's a lovely nail varnish set, a lovely bag that they can use. And then I also got this really lovely lip oil. This was only a pound and it's in like a little cracker as well, which is really cute. And like I said, I'd seen on a beauty page about lip oils and she was doing comparisons between prices. And she said a lip oil is a lip oil, even though they use different ingredients in a lot of things like other different lipsticks, you can get better grades of lipstick than other places, nail varnishes, etc. But when it comes to a lip oil, the components are so minimal. They are basically just an oil they should virtually all the same. Slightly different, but not majorly like with other makeup. So I've got a lip oil as well, and I really wanted a lip oil. So pop that in there. Takes it up to £9.50. Well, I say £9.50, yeah, it's £11. This one here, so I also got the little glow, um, 
body spray. Now, I did say in the last video, it says it smells of winter fluoro. It, fluoro? Floral. It smells of nothing. It smells of, you know when you get an unscented soap? It's not unscented. It's got that weird chemical base. It isn't chemically. It just doesn't smell of anything. Um, so, yeah. But the shimmer was really nice on this. I sprayed it on my hand. You could see it was like really like shimmery. So that's good for on your legs, maybe on a night out or something. I thought that was quite good. This was £2. So I was like, is that my maths bag? £9.50. That's eleven fifty, isn't it? All right, eleven fifty for a gift. So I got this, and I thought that that would be quite a cute little present. Or if it's not someone that you want to get makeup for, but you want to get a beauty, obviously you could put this in a hamper instead of this bag. Instead, of, which I will do, I will show you. And um, but it would work well in the bag as well. Now these were. Let me just double check how much these were. I think these were three pound each. find it right these were one pound fifty each um which is really good so i got the winter berries sugar scrub like i said i didn't smell this one i don't know what this one smells like but how bad can it be it's raspberry cranberry and strawberry which is usually really lovely I also smelt this because there was an open one in there. So this was £1.50 and this is the almond and vanilla body butter. This smells incredible. Um, and this is also 250ml. No, 12, yeah, 250ml. For a pound, they had the cinnamon and ginger bath bombs. They're like geometric um, hearts, which is really cute. And the packaging is really sweet. It's in this like forest range. Um, and it also had in there a little compact mirror part of the forest range again now i've got to be honest this is more of a makeup thing so what i probably would do is stick that in with the makeup like wrap it all like i say in tissue paper and pop this in the little bag as well i think that'd be quite cute but obviously you don't even have to put the nail set in there if you don't want the bag this a lip oil you know that's nine pound and then the body spray that couldn't be 11 pound doing it that way however you want to do it really um but this is really lovely as well. Look, compact mirror, only £1.50. A few other little bits from the pound shop that were in my haul, but they're not things I'm going to be putting together to make little hampers. I mean, I did get these for my little niece. Um, so little hair clips and stuff like that. They did have little bags in there. So you could obviously put like, you know, a bits of bag when you're little, when your mum just sticks like little hair bands, clips, little lip balms, you know, little scented perfumes and stuff like that. You could obviously add these together and get a really cheap present for a little girl. I've obviously bought all these bits for a specific reason. So I have got those. You can obviously make a little doggy hamper as well if you wanted to. You know, a couple of little toys and little dog treats. If you wanted to as well, pop them in a little hamper. Um, you know, and I did also buy the little wooden, the wooden numbers as well. These are for Albert, but these would be amazing wrapped up. I know if my children open this, if Albert opened this up and it's a gift from someone else, I would never in a million years think pound shop for one because the aesthetic of them is so pretty. They look so pretty and they're all wooden um, and the colours are beautiful. But, you know, these are amazing. Six pounds of both if you want to get them as a nice present. Six pounds is still a really cheap gift, isn't it? Um, for two. And they're educational as well. But three pounds, really lovely little gift. You want to bulk that up, put some little chocolate buttons in there as well. Tie it up with some brown paper and maybe pop a little candy cane on the front in the bow. Um, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, guys. Um, let me know what your favourite is. If there's any alternative ideas of how you wrap these, because I know some people might think, oh, do you wrap them in fabric? That's a little bit bougie. But if you have these sort of things at home, tea towels are great, especially if you do like a baking hamper. So I was going to do a baking hamper, but I have got to say I wanted to keep it Poundland themed. And actually the pound shop have like very cheap plasticky baking tools. And you can actually get for the same price some really beautiful wooden ones from supermarkets and stuff like that. But to keep it so you know where everything's from so it doesn't get too confusing in case I forget to mention because we all know what I'm like. Um, you could do a baking one. And if you wrap everything in tea towels, then they've got their tea towels when they're baking too. So it's a really cute little idea. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video, guys. I've been Rosie Henshaw. See you later. Take care. Bye.